Hi, everyone. I know I'm early, a little early, but I just want to make sure I have all my, my camera thing going on because, yeah, it's been, it's not been easy. Let me see if I can get the autofocus to work. And, hmm. You guys get to see my big messy table. I think it's time I need to either do a systems upgrade or something because I. Hey, Joyce. How are you, girl? I think I need to do a systems upgrade. My dad, you get to see my full on mess. <laughs> hey, Peggy. Hey, well, one of you guys, can you, one of you guys, um, go over and put the link in Ann's channel? I don't know. Let me see if I can. Let me see. Um, let me see. Um, let me see. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. This is how un. This is how unprepared I am. So, give me a sec. <laughs> and I'm gonna put my headset on too. Just give me a second here. Sorry, you guys. Hey, Sage. Time for art and and anyway, awesome. Thank you, Laura. I really appreciate you doing it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Hey, Sharon. Hi, everybody. Let me see. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Can you guys hear? Is it? Can everybody hear? <laughs> Just give me a give me a yes or a no because I turned down the volume and I'm gonna put my headset on. You can hear me? Oh, good. I'm gonna put my headset on. Okay. Yay! It sounds good. Okay, cool. Well, I can't zoom in, you guys. I think it's time that I get either a new camera or something else. I think it's time for me to do that. And if you guys hear the clippy cloppy, it's the dog. Hang on. Can one of you guys please come get the dog, please? The dog is going to clippy clop. You can hear me. Yay. So originally I thought we were going to make my, my, um, tin can earrings and I'll show you those. And you guys, I've been making them for a long time and there's really nothing to it. Um, and basically what you do is you cut and clean a soda can, right? And then I run mine through a die cutting machine, but you can also use a punch. Um, this one would be a little big, although I will tell you no matter what you use for them, you need to, when you, when you go to wear them, or if you're going to make them for a craft fair and sell them, put the, the little stoppers like this on the back because they are so lightweight, they will fly off. So here is only one, here's one pair. You guys, I have like 50 pairs somewhere. And for those of you that don't know, we're moving. And my sweet partner has been um, taking all the unnecessary things and putting it in storage. And I think he took my, my, bat, my box of earrings because I spent like an hour looking for them. So I don't have them. I do want to give you the ins and outs of cutting a tin can. So when you stick them in a die cutting machine, and I'll show you, I'll give you an example. When you stick them in a die cutting machine, you want to put the side you are, the front side, you want to lay that flat down. And I'll show you why. If you look at the how they're cut, it makes a lip on the back of it. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the lip. And it'll just curve it to the back. So that way it it won't, it won't, it's not sharp when you cut it with a die cutting machine. 
You can see the lip. <laughs> hi, Scotty. Oh, hi, you guys. I'm a, hi, Barb. Hi, APG. Hey, Laura. Hey, Gail. Hey, Ruth. Hi, Mina. And I'll come back and say hi to all the rest of you, too. J and, and JL. Um, that will, I, I will link in the description uh, one of the videos that I made showing you from beginning to end how to make these. Okay. So that's the key. You want to lay the good side down, whatever side you want. Now this happened to be, I think this was a, um, a Red Bull can and these are an Arizona iced tea can. Okay. So that's it. Now, if you want to paint them, they're alcohol ink works the best, but it's a messy job. Um, alcohol ink with, um, with uh, soda cans. Now these are ones I made and I ran it through an embossing. Um, I freehand cut these and ran them through an embossing folder. You can see the embossing folder was a flower. And I painted them both sides uh, with alcohol inks. Now if you don't want, say you don't want this um, color or you know some most soda cans don't have a tremendous amount of free space that's usable that doesn't have an ad or you know the ingredients or whatever in it you can sand these I would tell you sand them with a fine grit sandpaper because they um to get as you work with metal if any of you guys have ever made jewelry as you work with metal metal hardens. So just every step of the way, it gets more brittle. So I suggest you cut them out first, whatever shape die cut or with a punch. And right, if you're going to, if you want to emboss them, put, a, put it between two layers of a paper towel and then put it in the embossing folder. Do you know what I mean? Like put two pieces of paper towel, put the metal pieces down and then close it up in the embossing folder and then do it through your die cutting machine. After that point, you want to poke a hole in it. Now I've used push pins, but I also have this tiny hole punch and don't ask me where it came from. I don't know, but it pokes like a, you can see how tiny the, the hole is. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can poke, punch it through something so you can see how super tiny it is. So all of this came about and you guys know, see how tiny the hole is? All of these came about because I told you guys my story about me making really nice jewelry and sitting at craft fairs and the lady next to me who literally made easy bake oven jewelry, she would sell out and I would have my beautiful metal smith jewelry. So this came out of like my need because for a long while while I lived here, I did weekend uh, craft fairs. And um, they were, you know, it, nothing is more disheartening than to sit there with a piece of jewelry that you made for a long, you know, and uh, you don't sell anything. So that's sort of the ins and outs of cutting your soda can with the die cutting machine. Now, you don't need to have that hole punch. I, when I first started making them, I used a thumbtack, you know, push pin and made my holes. And I have seen many people make versions of these where they do not, um, where they don't paint anything. They find a really cool um, motif and they work with that. Well, this is what I want to talk to you about now. So that's for people that want to make them out of tin cans. Now you can use an emery board if you want to, if you want to file it, you don't, it's not rough. So you can see like this one, I did the wrong way. You just see, instead of me doing it, face down, I did it face up and the lip is facing forward. So then I was thinking about how could everybody make jewelry without for now this is mind you mind mindfulness of a craft fair craft fair motif. And so these are painty paper earrings. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Lala. Oh, thank you, Mary. And you guys, hey, hi, Peggy. And you guys give Mary a big hand, okay? 
<laughs> Thanks, Renee. So these are painty paper earrings. These were made out of painty. I made this painty papers and I glued them onto some product packaging like, like this, right? And I ran them through my die cutting machine. But if you have a punch, you can do the same thing. And voila. And if you wanted to. Hi, Joni. And if you wanted to put triple thick or something to seal over the top, you can. Triple thick or um, diamond glaze. So here, here's another pair. So here was my painted paper, right? You can see it. And here's my here's another pair that I did something similar to. Just cut them out of my die cutting machine. These these happen to be product packaging. This happens to be Manila file folder. So my thought is, I'll paint the back gold. I'll punch my holes. I'll paint the back gold. Let them dry. Diamond glaze, triple thick, and I just made little tags. I just cut little tags like this for the, you know, for the card that you would put them on. <laughs> what? You're a winner? What did I miss? 130 seconds? You guys are so funny. I'm missing it all. <laughs> so tell me how you guys are doing. I spent like the past hour and at two hours, actually, I had all this stuff because, you know, you guys know we're moving. So I spent the past two hours like looking for my stuff because I'm like, I know it's here. So the other thought I had was, how about napkins? So I have these really cool napkins and a decoupage one of them onto a product packaging. I did gesso it so that I could do it. <laughs> oh, Mary, you were awesome. Mary is like, you know... Mary's our biggest fan. Mary is our biggest fan. So I know you guys have, all of you have some napkins hanging out. Because, yeah, we collect, we crafters, we like our napkins. How many of us, how many of you guys have, have a couple napkins hanging around? Not too many of you, right? <laughs> some, of us, some of us have a few too many napkins. And those and those shall go unnamed. So, oh, you guys, I'm telling you. Whenever I see somebody saying, "Oh, I'm moving" or whatever, I'm like, "Oh, God, it's them and not me." You guys, I have collected so much stuff that I'm like, I'm like, what was I thinking? No, at the time, it's like, oh yeah. And now you're doing it, you're like, oh my gosh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna use my matte medium. You can use anything, but I'm gonna use matte medium and I'm gonna matte medium my my napkin down and then I'm gonna cut it out and make some earrings. You've been going through stuff and you didn't know that you you didn't do this time last year. You're ma you're making good progress. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't even so today I sent like a huge box of stuff to um to defy i mean big box of stuff and you guys i could do it like 50 times over and i would still have stuff so um i don't know what i'm going to take with me but probably not much my hottie's going to go and deal, deal with his dad this week or next week i should say and he said to me, I'm going to take three empty suitcases. So fill it with your, this is how much he loves me, you guys. He's like, I'm, I don't have anything to take with me to my dad's because we don't have winter clothes. So he said, I'm going to wear my jeans and my one sweatshirt or whatever he has. And then he said, pack those three suitcases to the brim with all the things that you want to take. So I've been thinking about it. I don't really know. I don't know, but I, first of all, I appreciate so much that he would even offer, you know, that it's kind of cool that he knows how much my, it, it's kind of funny though. Like, what are you going to, what do you take with you when you leave Hawaii? My craft supplies. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Now I am like, I have sold paper, my painting paper earrings at the craft fair as well. Um, I will, if that is what I'm going to do, I will definitely put a sealer on top and on the back. <laughs> on the premise of my mat, my napkin may be different from hers. Yes. <laughs> oh. Right, Aunt Beck, uh, girl. But you're okay. Did you guys see Aunt Beck's wreath? That it was so awesome. Everybody's done such really good things. And I didn't get to watch live this morning because it was like four in the morning my time, but I did go back and watch and I loved all of them. And I think it's like, everybody's is so different. Yeah. So I'm going to make a paper napkin one, but I hope this gives you guys some ideas to like, I don't know if they, you know, honestly, I don't even know if craft fairs are still going to be around. I mean, this year with the, with what's going on. I mean, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? But with the idea that if they aren't, you could definitely do it or make your handmade gifts. Make your, totally make your handmade gifts. Now I've given these earrings to teachers. Like um, I heard Laura say earlier that she really loves all of Cole's teachers. Well, I feel the same way and I have given, I've made paper napkin decoupage weird things. I've given, I've made these earrings as soda cans and as painty papers and given them. The thing with the painty paper, you definitely want to, uh, you want to um, seal them. Now you could also use these with a punch too. I just don't, guys, I think I'm losing my mind. I had, I was using a butterfly dye. I was cutting some butterflies. It was a friend's birthday, cutting her some butterflies. I said, oh, that'll be great. Guys, I don't know whether I laid it down and then he picked it up. It's just, yeah. I thought I had a punch right up here, but I don't. Maybe I don't. Because, you know, after the stream, after the live stream, I'll find it. <laughs> these are in, I mean they're kind of big but you get the general idea and you can make the same thing with journaling charms how many of you guys have seen my I don't have an example here in front of me but <clears throat> have seen my my journaling charms my soda can journaling charms those are super easy too same premise you just want to put them on some You just want to put it on some, I'm trying to decide which flower I want. These would kind of be really big, but I guess if you wanted to make big flowers, maybe I'll do that one. This is the Tim Holtz uh, Tattered Florals die. So they're not going to quite match, but it won't matter. Who needs matching, right? Who needs matching anyway? I'm going to go ahead and put the, the right side down, like I said, to do with the can. So what would you guys take if you had to move and you had to, couldn't take much? What would you take? What would you guys take? Matching is overrated. <laughs> I agree, APG. So Renee says her daughter is going to be doing a virtual baby gender reveal. Oh, wow. And have a virtual, virtual baby shower. That's awesome. Yeah, you have so much. I did make, you know, Renee, I looked for that die. I had this skull die and I made Renee a journaling charm with it. Let's see, isn't that going to be cool? Nobody's going to need to know that was a paper napkin. <laughs> 
Nobody needs to know that. No one needs to know that that is a paper napkin on a Pop-Tart box. <laughs> uh, you, Elizabeth said she, how are you, Al? Girl, how's it going with you? Elle said she would take her journals and her go bag and her photo albums. And Renee said the tools, take the tools, whatever's most expensive to replace. And Beth says glue and scissors. And Candy says her crafty stuff. You guys, I have so many craft supplies. It would, it's going to cost me a fortune if I tried to take it all. So he's going to take three suitcases when he goes to his dad's next week. And um, he's going to take his, his. And for those of you that want to know what dies this is, it's an alterations, Tim Holtz. Let's see, where is the name? It's not on there. It's a tattered florals die. I don't know if you can see. It's got four different flowers. I've used this die. I can't even tell you how often. And I've used it for every kind of thing you can imagine. I've made flowers with it for journals. I've made flowers for bouquets. I've made, as you can see, these paper napkin earrings. I think they're going to be kind of cool. What do you guys think? I mean, they won't be matching, but will it really matter? Yeah, the original tattled, tattered florals. <laughs> APG said she'd leave her clothes and take her studio. Girl, I don't even have any clothes to take. Carrying a dangerous concealed weapon. No, what? What chain? I missed that. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So I'm a little bit kind of concerned because I was like, do you think it's cool? I mean, can you take all my stuff or what are you going to take? And we had a conversation about it, and he was like, he was so funny. He was like, I says, I think I can take just about anything you want. And I was like, oh, I don't think it's like, I don't think it really works like that, babe. But I said, I said, but it'd be good to, we'd be good to see, right? It'd be good to see what we're going to, it would be good to see. So we'll see. I don't know what he's going to take from me. And then it may not be much of anything. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, it kind of puts you in a precarious position. Like I have, I'm definitely going to take my painty papers and all the things that people have given me like that. Painty papers I love. Um, I want to take my die cutting machine, but it might be more cost effective if I got another one. <laughs> it would be terrible to leave your husband behind because he takes up too much you know what's so funny is like he totally gets me so he was like he was like he was like he was like I'll take your supplies I'll take your so he said I'll take your supplies I'll take whatever you want me to take he was really good about it and then he then he was like he was like, wait, because I, I kind of got upset because I've been going through all of it and letting it go and putting boxes of stuff together to keep and let go of. And he was like, you know, you don't have to let go of everything. And I said, yes, but it's ridiculous to take stuff. It, you know, it's just ridiculous to take things that it's going to cost me more to take them than, than they're worth. And he was like, we can figure it out. And I, I thought it was super cute. I think he's like thinking he's going to ask some of our friends that travel a lot. Hey. Would you, would you consider bringing, if you travel to the mainland, would you consider bringing some of Shelly's things with you? So, and these are some cheap ready-made ear wires. You guys, if you have allergies, learn how to make your own. In fact, I'll do a video on it. I've made my own ear wires for years, but when it comes down to selling things at a craft fair for really inexpensive here, I can only speak for here. I cannot speak for where you guys are. People are really not discerning about whether you are using um, sterling or brass or whatever. But then I could just paint my tag, paint my little tag, do a little decoupage on my tag. Or I could put another jump ring on it so they had a lot more movement. Yeah, that's the other thing that you need to consider when you're making earrings. It's like this jump ring goes front to back. So the earring is going to lay like that on you. 
straight ahead. But if you want it to the side, then you just add one more jump ring, right? You add one more jump ring and then you're golden. These are kind of big for that tag, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he is sweet, APG. He's a keeper. So Jane says, wear as much clothing layers as you can. Take the things that are irreplaceable, mementos and small expensive jewelry and art supplies in the luggage. Yep. Well, he's going first and, he, and he's bringing his dad back. It's just, we just can't, I just can't pack up and leave. Like it, like in my mind I can, but I can't in reality. Does that make sense? I don't know whether I should. Oh, I should have put one up higher is what I should have done. That's what I should have done. So I hope this gives you guys some, some inexpensive fun ideas on things that you can make that won't cost you very much. You know, I know for all of us, especially right now during this crazy pandemic time that we're all, we all need to be a little bit more creative with our finances and with our things and and I think that's, you know, I think I always love handmade, but see, I should have done that one higher. So there you go. You should got to test it out until you know, until you get it right. Well, something like that. You guys get the, you get the drift, right? It should have been over just a little bit more. But you get the total drift. And if you covered them in triple thick or even glossy Mod Podge or Peggy says, Shelly, can you make a fabric roll dress <laughs> with all my stuff sewn in? Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you so imagine? Aren't they cute? Look, wouldn't you as a teacher get something like this? And especially if they had triple thick on it and you had somebody write handmade on the back or whatever, you would think it was cool. They're super simple, right? <laughs> you almost put somebody in timeout. Oh, you guys are too much. Thanks for the thumbs up or the thumbs down, right? I'd still wear them too. The only thing is, even in paper, get these little backs. And you can buy all of that, all of this stuff, like the ear wires stuff you can buy at a big box store or at Michael's and those little back things. Right? Super cool. Out of your paper napkins. And journal, do the same thing for journaling charms, you guys. Just get some chain and, and go for it, making journaling charms. Yeah, when you were a teacher, handmade was the best, right? <laughs> Peggy says, Red, I saw your finger coming. Peggy, did you see? So I have to give a plug. Peggy Fitzmorris is so, so generous. She donated to the Disabled Artists Foundation the most beautiful journal i mean a beautiful ledger and they're raffling it tomorrow it is huge huge you could also smush a piece of washi tape over the back you totally can smush a piece of piece of washi tape over the back but I, but these i'm telling you to get these little plugs not for the card but for when you wear them because they're so light you don't know you have them on and you can lose them so i want you guys go through your napkin stash Oh my gosh, that ledger is ama amazing, right? Yes, you could do tassels like this. Absolutely. So, I mean, you could do tassels. You could do your, t you could do your, your, your um, soda cans. You know, you could also do these soda cans like a chandelier earrings too. Oh, I don't have any too many things over here, but you could also do them where you punched a hole on the top. Let me see if this one has this one does have a hole. Let's see. So they're they're raffling off that beautiful that beautiful ledger, Peggy. That was you're so generous. And and um I'm so excited. That ledger is amazing, right? <laughs> you like working with with soda cans? I do too. But you know what? Every time I do, I get somebody on here that'll tell me something like. I don't know. Did you cut yourself? Or I don't, I have, honestly, I haven't. I have not. I have not cut myself ever with a soda can, knock on wood, right? 
because I don't want to have to like, I don't want to have to have do it now. If I cut myself now, that would not be, be good. So no, I have not. So if you guys, any of you guys want to want a, an, a chance at a most amazing ledger, um, you can buy a raffle ticket or a dollar. A dollar a chance, and it goes to the Disabled Artist Foundation. The only bad thing about this little hole punch is if your thing's not completely dry, which my painty paper and it's probably not completely dry, it'll stick to it. Yeah, Peggy, that was so generous of you. I think I was like, I'm in awe. I have a thing for ledgers. I should have a thing for nothing. Aunt Beck, you have to share the 411 with me. When you were packing up your studio, were you like, were you, did any of you ever think like, I should just give this whole thing up? <laughs> that was my thought today. You just can't even look at it. You've heard too many great things. Oh. You've not cut yourself either, Teresa? I haven't. Did any of you guys grow up where your grandparents or somebody in your family made doll furniture out of uh, soda cans? My, my aunt used to make like the coolest things and I kind of like regret now not having her ever show me how to do it. Um, she used to make like little Santa sleigh and she would make all these, you donated so much. I'm to the point where I'm telling you, I mailed, <laughs> I, I FaceTimed with Jean Peter today and I said, going through my dyes and I said, she's always making die cuts and so i was like for the foundation so i was like do you want this do you want this it will not hurt my feelings you can say no just because i was just overwhelmed you guys 11 years worth of craft supplies my sound is crackling can you hear me now is it better Yeah, our thrift stores are, are not taking, um, they're, they're so picky right now. They're not taking any real donations. You hear me, but it crackles. Hmm, does anybody else hear it crackle? I'm sorry. It's crackling. I don't know what to do about it, you guys. I don't know. Here. Here, I'll talk to you. Can you, is it better? Is it better? I'm, I, it took my headset off. Is that better or not? Well, who is next? It's still crackling? Well, I can't do anything. I don't know what it is. Oh, no. No, it's worse with my headset off? Okay. I don't know what it is. I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> Sell lots on Facebook to get replacement money. Ugh, because it's, I'm overwhelming myself. Okay, is that better or not? Yes or no? Sounds like a speaker problem. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Like when you bust a speaker? Oh, no. I don't know if I did or not. I don't think so. I think it's my headset. It could be my headset, but then I took the headset off. I'm sorry. Well, I know I need to get a camera upgrade. But I'm not going to buy anything until we until we're ready to go because it's just yeah. I'm sorry, well, Laura. I loved your your card, and I loved everybody's things that you guys have done today. It was really good, and all I can do is say, Mary, you're just so awesome, and we really appreciate you and love you and are grateful that you're our friend and that you that you came up with this great idea of how to share our community even better and in, in, in ways maybe some of us never even thought about. Oh, 
place. I didn't think about it. I mean, I always enjoy doing these live hops because I get to chat with all of you. And if it wasn't for Mary inviting me eons ago, I probably wouldn't be making videos right now because just the state of, uh, of my life. <laughs> Mary's awesome. Elizabeth, I don't know exactly if, when our move is for a couple of different reasons. <clears throat> with my partner's dad, he's fallen a couple times in the snow. So we're kind of thinking that we don't want to leave here until spring because if he can spend... If he can spend the time with us here, as opposed to, you know, in the warm weather, as opposed to the cold weather where he lives, then that's one thought, right? And, you know, since we're doing remote school, school is not going to resume in person here. And so I talked with the superintendent or whatever the principal and I said you know there may be a chance that we have to go take care of my partner's dad and he was very supportive he was like that is then you need to do what's best for you and you know so we have a lot of different things going on so we'll see I mean I don't have a date yet but I have so much stuff that I have to go get go through my stuff if I don't, I, yeah, I have to. I have way too much stuff, and I have to go through it. So that's where I'm at. Yay! Lori's next. You guys go head on over to Lori. And big hugs. You have a student in Pakistan who Zooms every night with us. Oh, Debbie, that's awesome. I have three minutes. Ooh, I have three more minutes. So if you guys head over to um, our Crafting Mamas Facebook group, if any of you guys want to join this awesome, I'm going to be doing some giveaways of boxes of things. <laughs> boxes of stuff, okay? Boxes, boxes and boxes of stuff. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing the, the giveaway for the box of stuff, and um, hopefully purging in a, in a way that is helpful and useful for the environment, and not <laughs> oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, go on over. Everybody, all everyone is welcome except for Pocket Man. <laughs> and stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a couple of giveaways on my channel too. I'm going to do, I'm going to do some giveaways. I do have some bunches of cool wallpaper and stuff in my little Etsy shop. Anybody, anybody want some? You're behind all day. You're never behind, Mary Lou. We love you. We totally love you. So yeah, I have. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm letting go. Yes, pocket man, stay away. Oh my God, yes. I think right now we only have, we don't have any men in our group except Roy and maybe um, John. And <laughs> yeah, you guys drive the bus on over and say hi to Lori for me. She's so talented. If you guys, if anybody wants to buy Christmas ornaments, Lori is your gal. Lori is totally your gal. She is awesome. Well, thanks, you guys. Know that I love you, and I'm just I'm grateful that you guys came to hang out with me. And thank, thanks again to Mary, <laughs> the pocket man. That could be a song. Thanks again to Mary for all her love and support in this community, and thank all of you. And if I didn't say hi to you, please don't be offended. I was I just didn't see. Bye, you guys. Take care. You take care. Head on over to Lori's. I'll see you there. Bye for now. Bye, Laura. Bye, Miss Allie Kay. Bye, Mary Lou.
Bye, Barb. Barb, you were awesome today. I was there listening in the background. I haven't gotten sorting and chatting down yet. <laughs> I haven't got sorting and chatting down for the long haul. It hasn't, I haven't. It was awesome today. Well, I'll see you guys over at Lori's in a few minutes.